Today on the Street Food Chef YouTube channel, we're going to do a very interesting dish and it's called Geng Ta Pa. And we had this dish in Kanom Jim Nakon, which is a great Kanom Jim restaurant that's all about noodles and also some other southern favorites in there. So Palm, the first thing that we do is what? We have a coconut cream and coconut milk together here. So bring, bring to the boy and then you add the... The fermented fish stomach. The and the way they make that, oh, all of that, wow. The way they make that fermented fish is basically they take the stomach of a mackerel or a sardine, quite an oily fish basically, and you want to have the small fish because otherwise it's too big and too strong, and yeah? Too oily. And too oily as well. So what they do is that they put about 20% salt to fish and then they pour that on top and then they put it in a jar and then they put it out for two days or a week. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. And then they let that slowly ferment and then if the sun is hot, and it's good, then that means it can keep for up to a year. So add a curry paste in there. Mm -hmm. And then what else we're going to add in? So now we're going to add uh, lemongrass and shallot. Okay. And the lemongrass, you want a little bit of texture in that, but you also want to cook it out for some time as well, so it breaks down a little bit and releases its flavors. So because uh, this one today, we, we don't add any vegetable in there. So this one we'll, we'll mix with the um, fish meat very well. And okay. because that, that's the texture from the lemongrass and shallot. And you add this in. A bit of tamarind. You don't need to juice it, just make it, put it like this. Okay. Some people just put uh, a sampotong. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you use white sugar and not palm sugar in it. Because this will make it lighter uh, in flavor as well. Palm sugar will make it quite heavy. And then just add the fish in and let the fish break down. Okay, so this has been boiling for about 15 minutes, but you got to be careful, as you said, because the fish is already cooked, so you don't want to overcook it. You don't want the coconut cream split too much too. So this one is very good with the kind of gin noodle. So I'm going to pour this over. Wow, fantastic. So this is a really, actually quite an easy dish to do. The only complicated part of it is actually the fermented fish stomach. But as I said, it's quite easy to do. Don't be afraid to make it. Everyone goes, oh my God, how are you gonna do it? You can do it. We do it in the restaurant and uh, it only takes a week to do. So you just gotta be mindful of you're gonna prepare this dish later on. Um, Palm, thank you. And it's a great dish and hopefully it's gonna taste the same as what we, uh, the Konom Jim Nakom.